What's up, JE Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So last time I enumerated my top 10 Super Sentai swords. Link in the description, by the way, if you haven't seen it. So this time I thought, why not do a version for Common Rider? So uh, of course, like in the Showa era, weapons weren't really much of a thing. I mean, yeah, you could technically say. Uh, they could also use any weapon that enemies drop, but uh, a lot of them don't have weapons. Uh, Super 1 probably uh, was the first common Rider to actually have a sword, but, you know, uh, for most of the time, you know, it's their fists and their feet that they use in combat. Enter the Heisei era. So, starting from Kamen Rider Kuga, there would be at least some sort of, uh, you know, sword that uh, especially the main riders would use. So, I thought, you know, uh, since swords have become quite a common weapon in the rider franchise, so, you know, why not pick my favorites? And let's start off with this video. So, for this one, I'm again, I'm not really doing any particular order. And this is a completely subjective list. So, again, if you don't agree with my opinions, that's fine. Feel free to share yours in the comment section. So, anyways, let's do this. So, while I did say that I am not really going to do it in any specific order, I'm gonna start off with a huge bias, okay? Introducing... The Kayan Kendeka from Kamen Rider Saber. So, yes, uh, Kamen Rider Saber is kind of a cheat, actually, in this regard. Because the entire show is basically, you know, about sword fighting. Like, even the Megiddo, like, uh, 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 particularly uh, Red GL, Zuos, and Storius have their own swords. But yeah, of course, like looking at the riders, they also each have a sword. Now, why did I choose Kain Kendeka? Now, to be completely honest, I was actually tempted to think of Cross Saber, so the How Can Cross Saber, but uh, it's actually quite a complicated weapon to acquire. So you know, it the riders had to actually uh, be united as a team. You know, like their hearts are as one. The power of friendship and whatnot brought their swords all together to form um, the Hauken Cross Saber. Now, looking at this, you can also technically uh, think of the Suiseiken Nagare and Daimeiken uh, Ikazuchi. But for me, it's definitely the Kainken Dekka. So ever since, you know... Uh, this is the sword that Toma has been using to fight off uh, his enemies uh, even before, again, uh, the formation of the Hauk and Cross Saber. So yeah, uh, this has been a trusted weapon, you know. Like, if I were, um, you know, to pick any sword from the Kamen Rider franchise and, you know, again, if I were to be stuck with it, you know, no power-ups or anything... This is my go-to weapon anyways, and, you know, fire is my favorite element. I, again, I do have a bias for uh, anything red. So, yeah, this is my first choice. So, Kamen Rider Saber, like, like I said earlier, it's a cheat because it's <laughs> it's got a lot of interesting swords. And I do like a lot of swords from the show. Not everything, but yeah, I do love it because of all the swords. So next up, uh, next off is the Gashakon sword from Kamen Rider Exade. So this is the weapon mainly used by Kamen Rider Brave, so the secondary rider of the show. Now there are basically like three swords that you could see in the show. Uh, the other two being the Gashakon Breaker and the Gashakon Key Slasher, both belonging to Exade. Although Gen would have his recolored version of the Gashakon Key Slasher later on when he, you know, uh, gets the Mugen form in the uh, not really the Muso form, but the his Gen Mugen, uh, if I remember correctly, you know his yeah. Uh, 
level 99, level 99 form, level billion, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time, sorry. But yeah, the Gashakon sword uh, has two modes, a fire mode and an ice mode. So it's already a decently powerful weapon. Even when uh, Kamen Rider Brave gets power-ups, his weapon never changed and has been reliable all throughout the show. Like, I really couldn't ask for any better weapon for Kamen Rider Brave anyway. So again, the Gashakon sword really, like, it is a sword so you, you can slice and dice enemies up close. And with its uh, ability for fire and ice, you can also get ranged attacks from it as well. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent weapon all throughout the show, and yeah, it's also, uh, you know, visually appealing. So that's why I picked it as well. So next, we have the Psycho or Psycho Jikan Gerade from Kamen Rider Geo. So this is basically a power-up weapon, and it actually first appeared when Kamen Rider Geo got the Geo 2 form. So in the GO2 form, he gets a new weapon, which is the Saikyo Gireid, which is a secondary sword. And then you can combine them together to make an even bigger, longer sword, which is the Saikyo Jikan Gireid. Now, during that point, a lot of common riders didn't really have, like, weapons that summon or, you know, that come out when they get their final forms. Um, but yeah. Uh, Kamen Rider Geo's Sai Kyojikan Gerade has been the best. Uh, unfortunately for the Ride Hay Saber, it has kind of been forgotten ever since. Yikes. So, anyways, moving on. So, I want to talk about Kamen Rider Ryuki's Sword Vent. So, yeah, there are other Kamen Riders who use swords, like Knight, for example, but his Sword Vent is actually more of a lance than his actual sword, which is you know, the night visor, but uh, I never thought I'd see, like, a Chinese Dao in the uh, franchise, and it looks so good. It's it's simplistic, but it looks so good. Uh, it doesn't, you know, have any uh, special abilities, like, you cannot charge it with energy. It, again, it basically just functions like any other sword, but it looks nice, really. Uh, it does look much better than the sword vent in, in that you get when uh, Ryuki transforms into his uh, survive form. So yeah, it, it still the original looks better. And uh, depending on the situation, like you can use it in conjunction with a guard vent, and you can also use two guard vents on your shoulder, and you still have your uh, other hand free to do other stuff, right? So. It does have some sort of versatility in that regard, but nonetheless, it is a simple weapon that I like, really. So next, we have the Engine Blade from Kamen Rider Double. So Engine Blade is the sword that Kamen Rider Axel uses. I really like the design of the sword. It looks like the gun blade from uh, Final Fantasy VIII, which is also one of my favorite games, by the way. And... It's actually one of the weapons in the franchise that you might see being wielded by the riders even when they are not transformed. So you might see Ryu Terui uh, dragging the sword uh, a, a few times uh, in combat even before transforming into Kamen Rider Axel. However, it is obvious that it is too heavy for uh, you know normal use or... It's too heavy to be used in your human form or civilian form. So, of course, when he transforms into Kamen Rider Axel, he does get, uh, you know, enough strength to wield uh, the engine blade as a normal sword or, you know, as if it were a normally weighted sword. So, you can also power it up with a few um, Gaia memories like the steam and electric. And, you know, because of that, you can perform... Uh, different kinds of slashes. You can also use it in uh, trial form and with its speed like you can slice and dice everything in a flash. So that's the engine blade for you. So next we have the King Rouser from Kamen Rider Blade. Now 
Kamen Rider Blade himself is a swordsman, and the Blade Rouser itself, like, is a nice-looking sword. But enter King Form, right? So you get a nice big sword, and uh, the King Form actually is a really nice power-up, in my opinion. It looks nice, really. And what's great about the uh, King Rouser is that you actually have the ability to wield, you know, both the King Rouser and the original Blade Rouser at the same time. So, you can dual wield even when that sword is huge. Uh, basically, like, it's it's like uh, the Saikyo Jikan Gerade if you look at it in terms of size. So, like, yeah, I do like big swords. I can't lie. So, next is the Flame Saber from Kamen Rider Agito. Now, it is a simplistic-looking uh, sword. So, it is the sword that uh, Kamen Rider Agito uses when he is in flame form, obviously. And it is also available when he uses the Trinity form. So, the Flame Saber looks very simple, but when using a finisher, like, the, uh, the fins on the sword open up. So, it looks cool. And, of course, you can charge it with flame energy to slash enemies with, uh, you know. So, again, it's uh, simplistic, but it looks nice, and it is functional. You can charge it with fire and, you know, slice and dice. Anyway. So, next is the Musou Saber from Kamen Rider Gaim. So, the Musou Saber is a katana-like weapon, actually, but it also has, like, a gun uh, at the handle uh, or the hilt. So, it is used by Kamen Rider's Gaim and Zangetsu. So, it, it's actually been a reliable saber, uh, or re reliable saber, rather, or a sword for Gaim because uh, he can use it by by itself or with the uh, Dai Dai Maru, and then he can combine them into a Naginata mode. So, he also has the ability to uh, perform ranged attacks because of the gun attachment, like I've said. And as for Kamen Rider Zangetsu, so his Melon Defender, while, well, yeah, it is uh, used as a weapon from time to time, to be completely honest, it's not gonna be very effective at dealing damage, which is why Kamen Rider Zangetsu still needs a more offensive-oriented weapon, and that's where the Musou Saber comes in. So again, uh, only the two of them use this. So the samurai-themed riders uh, are the only ones who are equipped with the Musou Saber. So, of course, uh, later on, uh, you you can also attach the DJ uh, Hinawa Ju or Hinawa DJ Ju uh, in order to create the sword mode. So... Uh, it also is available for uh, Kamen Rider Zangetsu, in the, uh, both in the Kachidoki forms. So, yeah, it's still an essential part of the power-up. So, next we have the Ixa Caliber from Kamen Rider um, Kiva. So, Ixa Caliber is the main weapon for Kamen Rider Ixa, of course. And like the Musou Saber, so it, it, it has a sword mode and a gun mode. Uh, so basically, they do share a similar build. However, uh, the difference is, so in gun mode, so the stock is extended downward and the blade is uh, pushed down. So when you push the stock upward, the blade comes out and you can use it as a sword. But again, it is versatile in terms of being able to perform ranged and melee attacks at the same time. You know, like, you have close range attacks with the sword mode, you have long range attacks with the gun mode, and of course can be charged for finishing moves. And uh, also, like, it it looks nice, really. Uh, so, I also like the visual. And last but not the least, we have the Raging Sword from Kamen Rider Yeats. The Raging Sword is part of the power-up that gives uh, the writers in the show, uh, particularly Geats, Tycoon, and uh, Buffa, uh, access to you know the Command Twin Buckle. So one of them attaches to the Desire Driver, but one of them is still attached to the Raging Sword, and you you actually have to charge it by uh, attacking enemies 
or if you're buff uh, in his Yamato form, you can actually uh, deal damage to yourself and it actually charges the sword, unlocking the other half of the Command Twin Buckle and then you can transform into your power-up. But, visually speaking, the sword looks nice and it's also really functional uh, in terms of like, yeah, granting you power-up and it can fly. In its own, on on its own, uh, probably remote controlled by the, um, you know, the admins of the Desire Grand Prix. Like they, uh, like for example, Niramus sent uh, Geats the Raging Sword for the first time, so it was flying around and it can hit enemies. Uh, however, it uh, it's not seen. Um, being used by the riders that way so like they do use it like a typical sword but it looks nice and you can also again uh, charge the sword and do finishers with it so uh you can actually like fly around in your jet mode and slice enemies from the sky so yeah uh it's uh, a, a really nice looking weapon that actually packs uh, a lot of power in it when needed so those are my top 10 swords from the Kamen Rider series. I'm actually still looking at a uh, list, so you probably <laughs> and you probably noticed me, uh, you know, looking down somewhere. And that's because I actually prepared a list because I really had to think about uh, which swords I really like from the franchise. It, uh, to be honest, I do like a lot of swords, really. Uh, like I mentioned earlier with Kamen Rider Saber, they do have a plethora, plethora, I can't English good, uh, they have a plethora of swords that, uh, that, again, that's basically cheating if I added all of those swords into this list, so, yeah, I, that's why I need, needed to settle with the Kayanken Deka anyways, so, yeah, that's it for my video, again, if you don't, uh, if your favorites are not in this list, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. So again, as always, thank you so much for watching. So please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JD Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you next time. Bye.